On November 27, 2020, a single bullet changed the course of history. A covert operation, likely orchestrated by Israeli intelligence, took out one of Iran's most critical nuclear scientists, remotely through artificial intelligence. This assassination, which took place on a quiet road in Iran, wasn't just a simple act of violence. It was the culmination of years of planning, surveillance, and cutting-edge technology. But how exactly was this done? And why was Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, the scientist in question, targeted? Let's find out. Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was more than just a nuclear scientist. He was the driving force behind Iran's secret nuclear weapons program, often referred to as the father of the Iranian nuclear bomb effort. For years, Israeli intelligence, specifically Mossad, had been tracking his movements, understanding that eliminating him would strike a critical blow to Iran's nuclear ambitions. Image of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu holding a press conference where he mentions Fakhrizadeh by name in 2018. In 2018, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu singled him out, stating, Remember that name? Fakhrizadeh. This public identification painted a target on his back. Cut to an image of Israeli agents and intelligence teams working. But how could Israel carry out such a high-stakes operation in the heart of Iran without sending agents into harm's way? On November 27, 2020, Fakhrizadeh was traveling on a road in Absard, a small city east of Tehran, when his convoy came under fire. What was unique about this assassination was the complete absence of on-the-ground Israeli operatives. Cut to a high-tech automated machine gun linked to a satellite in a control room. Instead, reports indicate that Israel used a remote-controlled machine gun likely mounted on a pickup truck. This was no ordinary weapon. It was enhanced with artificial intelligence, giving it the ability to zero in on its target with pinpoint accuracy, even compensating for the recoil of the gun and the movement of Fakhrizadeh's vehicle. The operation took place on a quiet Friday afternoon. While Fakhrizadeh was traveling with his security detail, the AI-controlled weapon activated, targeting the scientist without harming his family members who were also in the convoy. Show a timeline from 2018 to 2020, showing Israeli surveillance activities leading to the day of the assassination. This was the culmination of years of planning by Israeli intelligence, following Fakhrizadeh's every movement. The assassination took place on the road to Absard, an area about 40 miles east of Tehran. This region was relatively remote, and Israeli intelligence used this location to their advantage, ensuring minimal witnesses and reducing the chances of Iranian forces intervening in time. Drone footage of a quiet rural road followed by reenactments. So why was Fakhrizadeh targeted? His assassination was not just about eliminating one individual. Fakhri Zadeh had been at the heart of Iran's nuclear weapons program for decades. His work, starting with the Ahmad plan, aimed to develop nuclear warheads in secret. Cut to Netanyahu's 2018 speech again, emphasizing Fakhri Zadeh's role. Eliminating him was seen as essential to halting or at least delaying Iran's nuclear ambitions, which Israel viewed as an existential threat. Reports suggest that Israel considered him irreplaceable and thus targeted him to disrupt Iran's progress.